An incredible three phases of our famous reunification project are now ready to have track laid on them. First, the brand new bridge over the Midland Main Line. Second, the fully refurbished original Great Central Bridge over the Grand Union Canal. And now, third, the brand new bridge over the A60 Road. And there's more good news. In 2023, we want to start building two more parts of the project. To get us going, we've already got £1.78 million banked and ready to spend. That's all thanks to people like you, who want to see the project succeed. Here's the story so far. There are two halves of the Great Central Heritage Line, one in Nottinghamshire, the other in Leicestershire. They both head towards the town of Loughborough. Once, these two were connected as part of the Great Central Main Line to London. That line was closed in the 1960s as part of the Beeching Railway Cuts. After closure, the section of line in these archive pictures was demolished. The demolition work created a gap of 500 metres between the two surviving halves. Since 2017, we've been working hard to fill that gap and reunify the two railways. Three of the seven phases are now complete. Heading north from Loughborough, once the railway has crossed the canal, a new 300-metre-long embankment needs to be constructed. It will finish with a concrete bridge deck, the first part of the next phase, crossing Railway Terrace Road. A traditional metal bridge will go over the road itself. Then the railway crosses a factory car park. This will be on a brand new concrete structure. After that, it's the Main Line Bridge, which, thanks to your support, is in place. Finally, an existing embankment needs to be restored, because the bridge over the A60 is now complete. That's it. Fix 500 metres and create an 18-mile heritage railway. There's a connection to the National Railway Network too. Next, we want to build phases three and four, which we call the factory flyover. It's another 61 metres of the new link line. Here's a closer look at this section. Starting at the Loughborough end, railway terrace is approached on a concrete bridge deck, supported on pre-stressed concrete beams. This deck and the traditional metal bridge deck which crosses railway terrace itself ensures cars and lorries on the road below can clearly see each other. After the road, the new line crosses a factory car park, again on three concrete bridge decks. At the Ruddington end, this section connects straight into the brand new Midland Main Line Bridge. We think this section will cost £3 million to build, and we've already got well over half of that. We're asking for your help to find the rest. Many people are giving us £12 a month, which over a year adds up to a very generous contribution. So here's our 2023 to-do list. We need to continue raising money, we need to get the planning consent so we can build the factory flyover, and we'd like to start work again towards the end of the year. But how much we build depends on how much you can donate. There are huge benefits to reunifying the railways. It will grow the East Midlands economy, safeguarding jobs and creating new ones. It can be a test track connected to the main line. It will be an international tourist attraction, drawing long-staying visitors. It's somewhere locos that operate on the main line will always have a home to run. And finally, our new line will be able to welcome charter trains full of tourists to the area. With your help, this is the project once called impossible that's happening now. Let's get that factory flyover moving and finish the job. Reunification, it's the ultimate people power project. Thank you for your support.